Hey, can you remove all the files that are not tracked by Git? Sure, I think I did that a couple of months ago. Let me check my history. So git clean, uh, yeah, dash f for fours, that's probably it, yeah. There we go. And can you open that file that did the XML export? That's easy. It's called something XML export, right? Yeah, there we go. Do you want to learn about the mechanisms of this quick workflow? Stick around. This video is going to be a demo of RL Select. RL Select is a tool I wrote to interactively select a line by searching. It works by reading lines from standard in and then prints the selected line to STD out. And what you do with the printed selection is up to you. So for example, I've written wrappers to use this as a replacement for Control R in Bash to recall history. And I've written a small script in Vim to open a file interactively. And the only limitation is your imagination, what you can use this for. The path to RL Select started when I wanted to improve how I recalled items from my bash history. I've documented that in a blog post, so check that out for some history. Now, on to the demo. RL Select consists of the main program, uh, which can select lines from standard in, and then you write different wrappers around it to use it in different ways. So first of all, I'm going to show you how RL Select, the main program, works. So we need some lines to select from. Let's use find to find some files in this repo. And I believe there's a git directory here, so let's see. Yeah, let's uh, let's remove that one because we don't want to search in there. There we go. So now we have a bunch of files and we can run pipe that through RL select. And we're presented with this interface. So at the very top right, you can see that we're selecting among 62 lines. And we can uh, type in keywords to filter this list, to narrow the search results. So for example, if I want to find the readme file, I can type RE. Uh, and it lists all matches, uh, all lines that has RE in it. And as you can see, it's case uh, insensitive. So both RE with small letters and the RE with capital letters. If I type with capital letters, uh, you can see that we only find uh, the two matches. So when you type capital, any capital letter, it will be case sensitive. You can also combine uh, search terms. So if I wanna find a Python file, can write .py, uh, and I know the file has something to do with RL meta, so I can try type uh, meta maybe, uh, and it will list all the lines matching both .py and meta, has both those search terms. Uh, and now when I see this list, I I know that hey, this is the make file I wanted, so I can search for that, uh, or I can move up and down the list to select something. And when I press enter now, the thing I selected will be printed to stand it out. So that's the only uh, function of the RL select program. So to actually use this for something, we need to wrap it in something. So for example, if I want to open the selected file in Vim, I can do something like this. So this will fire up Vim, and the first argument is going to be the result of the selection. So for example, uh, let's find that meta file again, and what does it make, this one? And it will open that file uh, in Vim. Next, I'm going to show you a bit more advanced example how you can use RL select in scripting. So. I'm going to attempt to write uh, like a directory browser, interactive directory browser. So let's start by trying to get all the directories uh, in the current folder. So let's use find for that. 
and filter on directories. So this will give us uh, all directories. We only want in the current, so let's set uh, max to 1. It will give us uh, only the directories in the current directory and not recursively. And let's also exclude the dot, the current directory, by using my, uh, min depth one as well. So I want to select uh, uh, among these lines. So the idea here is that I select a directory, and when I do a selection, it will present all the directories in that directory, so I can interactively browse. Um, and I also want to include the dot dot directory, so so we can go backwards or up the directory hierarchy in the browser. So let's echo that, and then do find. There we go. And I think I also want to remove the dot slash, so let's use cut for that. Three, maybe? There we go. So now we have the parent directory and all the directories in this directory. Uh, Alright, so let's wrap that in parentheses and do rl select. And now we can do something like that and we'll print uh, the directory to stand it out. So now there's another feature you can use in RL select uh, for scripting purposes, which is the action flag. And when we use the action flag, it will print the action on the first line and then the selection. So in this case, uh, I pressed enter. If I exit with control G, for example, it will print control G as the action and no output. So we can do different things depending on what I did in RL select. Uh, so let's see, we want to do um, something like this. We want to read the action. We want to read the selection. Uh, uh, let's just echo that for now. Action. Selection. Let's see if that works. So, enter legacy. And then I exit with control G. All right. So now let's say if um, if the action is um, if the action is enter um, then we want to do something. then we echo the selection. But what we really want to do when we press enter is to go into that directory and start the program again to list the directories in that directory. Uh, let me just first check that if I co press control G nothing happens and if I press enter it will echo that selection. Okay cool. So what we want to do instead of echo the selection is to cd into, into that directory into, into that directory and then we want to run this thing recursively. So let's call this explore and wrap this in a function called explore. Like that. So now when we run explore, it will show us the, the directories in the current directory. And we can select uh, however we want, so resources for example. When I press enter, it will show all the directories in the directories, uh, in the resources directory, which didn't have any subdirectories, so we can go back by pressing enter on the dot dot. And uh, let's go into the RLCI directory instead. What do we have here? Oh, we have an infrastructure directory. Let's go into that one. Nothing. Nothing more there. And we can go back and we can go back. And how about the git directory? What does that look like? Oh, so we have branches, hooks, info. Let's have a look at objects. Oh, so many objects. Let's go back. Let's exit. So this was a quick example how to use RL select in a script to make a tiny directory browser explorer uh, interactive. And only your imagination uh, sets the limit for what you can use RL select for.
The RL Select repo has more information on how to install it and how to use it in various ways. So check that out for more information. That's it for now. See you soon.